turning point and I fought again the road. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So make the best of I'll never forget the day. I was only 11 years old. It was just like a total change. Like life totally changed. The only good thing was that the school I was at, the, the deputy head was a diabetic himself. So when I sort of got back to school, he, he like sort of took me in his office for a couple of days and said, look, I know exactly what you're going through. And at the time it was like, you, you eat every four hours. So it's like breakfast, uh, snack, two hours after, dinner, snack, two hours after that, tea, snack, two hours after that. And then your supper before bed, and it was, it, it was like military routine. Everything had to be done at a certain time. The injections don't bother me. It's not the testing the blood sugars. It's the fact that sometimes you just don't feel like eating, but you have to. Uh, and that's the thing that really got me. And because I, I moved from the two injections a day to four, when I sort of became a young adult. When I went on to the four injections a day, it was the same when I went on to two. It was always a set amount of insulin. Um, basically, the dietitian worked out the plan, and you know you'll have a set amount of carbohydrates, then a set amount of carbohydrates here, and um, it worked for a while. But then, obviously, when you're growing up and things are getting busier, you're at work. Sometimes you're like you've just got to eat on the move. But what you don't realise is when you're taking insulin. Well, what I didn't realise is saying you're not having as much to eat. Then obviously it's going to affect them. My bloods were dropping low, and that, that would seem to be happening quite a bit. But the last six months or so, I just couldn't get a grip with it. I was having hypos. It was like I was 11 again, going back to not knowing what I was doing anymore. Basically starting from scratch, which was like a horrible feeling. I was more scared to go out in the car. And I, I just, I, you know, I sat down with myself and just said, look, I'm going to have to take a step back because I can't risk being on the road and having a hypo. It's just not for me, but for everyone else as well. Handed my notice in and said, look, I'm really sorry, but health is key and I need to get myself back on track. Then this meter came, sort of came into my life. It's it's totally just changed everything, you know. I can, I can I, I'm back in control of diabetes again. The, there's just like a, a simple setting on there, which you know doesn't go into detail of carb counting, but gives you an idea of what insulin to take when your blood sugars are what they are. Um, and even then, like I noticed a massive change. There was there was like no hypos because I was overcompensating so much for the insulin for what I was taking in food. Um, and then I moved up to the advanced setting on the on the meter. And um, it, it's, it has it totally changed my life, you know, for the good. A lot more flexible. Never had a, a hypo for the past three months, I would say, since I've been on it. I used to think, oh, I can't have anything to eat because my bloods are too high. Where now it'll give you the insulin amount to take to compensate for your bloods being high and your food intake as well. Marie the nurse, she she worked out all my insulin ratio and everything with me. Um, once we put that in the machine and she showed me how to use it, it was like, this is so easy. You know, much easier than, than having to guess or having to eat the same thing, take the same units. You know, you can you can be more flexible, which is all I've ever wanted. I, you know, I don't want to be like a routine guy who has this then and has that then and he does that then. It's because um, that's not life. Life, you know, life changes, and you, you've got to adapt yourself. Like I say, with, with this meter, um, it's it allowed me to do that. I, I could never go back. I don't think now. I'd have more of an idea now that I can carb count, and I could probably have a good guess. But the reassurance on that is it's really, really good. Everyone's seen a change in me, like how flexible I can be now, and um, you know, they, they just said it's good to see that you you're back on track, and you know you you're controlling the diabetes rather than rather than it controlling you. Like I said, the meat has totally changed the way I've, I think now about diabetes. You know, you realise you can be flexible with it. I, I'm back in control and my, my family are much happier. I'm, I'm, I've now been engaged, you know, I'm going to get married to, to my fiance Kelly and, you know, everything's 
like it's just give me a massive boost again and I'm like I'm me again which is great because I'm like I say I'm always on the sunny side of the street but for, for that while I wasn't um so yeah it's it has it, it's made a, like a total massive difference to me So take the photographs and still frame 